My name is Kevin Byrne. I'm a real estate agent here in Boulder, Colorado. I own Steps Real Estate with my friend and partner, Sean Modry. My name is Sean Modry. I'm the co-owner here at Steps Real Estate, Boulder, Colorado. Kevin kind of is the ballast in the boat, keeping things riding steady. Sean is the engine that's churning up the action and taking things in a new direction. I want the copier to work and I want the phone system to work. He's trying to dominate the world. My goal with Steps is to grow to seven to nine offices in the next 24 months and then to grow nationally. Colorado is the new California. People want to be here. They're willing to pay the price to be here. Our economy is booming. There's a lot of companies that are coming into town. Google, Twitter. Boulder is one of the hottest real estate markets in the nation. There's only 100 homes on the market. The average sales price is over a million dollars and over 500 agents competing for that market. Lisa Ray and I have had a friendly competition going for years and years. This year, I'm gonna take her. Kevin is a very hard competitor and he's got a big family that he's gotta take care of, so he's got that built-in motivation. I live in a house with my wife, my two kids, my sister, my mom and dad. I mean, we like each other, we respect each other, we all get along really well. There are definitely issues that come up. People refer to my family as the Brady Bunch. Not exactly. She has three girls, and I got two boys and a girl. Everybody gets along pretty good. I mean, I think we're really lucky. I sold my other businesses, I quit my job, I bet the farm on this one. Sean had come to me and said, let's start a new business after one had failed. We might fail. We might piss some people off. Yeah. But if we can make it here, we can make it anywhere. Let's do this. Let's do it. Steps is like a family. Agents work together. They even go do recreational activities together. Your goals are much greater than 15. I'm curious if the property sold, where are you guys looking to actually move to next? Kevin's focus is selling real estate, and my focus is growing the company. We'll be the first real estate office on the moon, if you ask Sean. Kevin believes that his trampoline keeps his energy high, keeps his focus. I don't know what his trampoline does. The squeaking on Kevin's trampoline drives us nuts. Trisha and I have a hidden bottle of WD-40 that we sneak down the hall and oil it with. This is where prosperity happens. When I make the phone calls, that's where I make the money. Hey guys, welcome to the team meeting. How's it going this week? Kate is like the mama of the office. She cares about those agents more than they care about themselves. Who's got something good to tell me this week? Dale? So I have a closing today, so I'm gonna have to cut out early. <laughs> got a $4.8 million listing closing on Wednesday. What else is good? Two cash buyer closings, uh, one last Thursday and then one this Thursday. Most companies don't provide any training. What they provide is a desk and a phone and they say, good luck. Sometimes it's hard to get your foot in on this business, but when you get your first $30,000 check, it's game on. How many people in the room feel like their jobs are really important? Our team meetings are focused on helping our agents to grow their businesses. What do you do, Stuart, to kind of get up in the morning and say, hey, I'm going to go out and I'm going to make this happen today. I'm going to go out and sell a $4.8 million house, the biggest house that's ever been sold in Boulder. Coffee, and I do my affirmations every day before I step up to the plane. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Woo! That's good. That's good. Yeah. Kevin and I teach the agents what we wish we had known when we were first starting in the industry. <laughs> Two years ago, we opened our real estate company here in Boulder, Colorado. Our sales are up over 200% over last year. What do you think of that? <laughs> in fact, last month alone, we generated over $400,000 in commission income. Here's the challenge that we face. The companies in town who have been here for 20, 30, 40 years have now identified us as a competitor because we're starting to take market share from them. They would like nothing more than us to close our doors. If we don't push hard over the next 60 days, they might have the opportunity to win. I'm gonna ask you to make those calls that you don't wanna make. I'm gonna ask you to knock on those doors that you don't wanna knock on. Buyers are moving here from all over the world. We have an opportunity right now to make Steps a name brand and associate Steps with success in real estate. <laughs> At one point, Kevin and I got kicked in the balls by a big company. Now we're fighting back.
Do you or someone you know have a home that you want featured on Buying Boulder? Visit us at buyingbouldertv.com. We've got a property just outside of Boulder in the mountains that the buyer wants to get access to a locked part of the house that during the inspection they couldn't get in. It was a property that flooded out a couple years ago that needs a little bit of TLC. Bring your uh, tool belt for this one. You think you're going to outsell Lisa selling this crap? You got to sell numbers, baby. You got to sell numbers. I hope it's better looking on the inside. It's not. It's not. <laughs> this is a beautiful Riverside Chalet. Right? <laughs> Kevin's good if he can sell that as riverfront in the mountain. So this is a storage uh, area that was locked for the inspection. Let's uh, take a peek. Boy, we were a little surprised by what we found inside. Holy oh. Dude, that's a lot of pot. What are you going to do? You know, I had faith that uh, if someone's going to move up in the mountains, they might enjoy this type of equipment. Hello? Yeah, hey, Emma. This is uh, Kevin Byrne at Seps Real Estate. How you doing? I actually found out that it was a legal grow room that was licensed. Oh, God, God, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we all love weed here in Colorado. We're a progressive state. It's uh, something we have to deal with more and more here in real estate. I'm probably the only guy in this town that doesn't smoke pot. One of the things that we teach agents is how to prospect. And prospecting is going and get leads. Just like any job, it's really a craft that we're trying to give people. Yeah, my name's Evan Lamb. I'm a, a real estate agent with Steps. This is Nick Fabo with Steps Real Estate. My name is Michael Day. I'm, with, I'm a local real estate agent in the area. Who, whom am I speaking with? No offense, what do you want? Well, I'm calling to see if the home was still available or if you've accepted an offer at this time. I've listened to my real estate before. They didn't do anything for me. Are you wasting my time? I, no, no, sir. I would, uh... When you and your company get going and you know what you're doing, then you call me back, right? Until then, don't call. Goodbye. Oh. Part of this job is getting kicked in the teeth every once in a while and still going forward. When Michael told me he lives in a van, I was like, what's up with that? How do I hire an agent that lives in a van? But then he explained to me, it's all about the lifestyle of Colorado. If I was Michael, I'd be looking for a girlfriend to shack up with over the winter, because that van's gonna be cold. Today I'm gonna be meeting with an expired listing. When I pre-qualified him, he had told me that he's meeting with a couple of other agents, but he's also very motivated to move to Minnesota. Hi, oh. Dimitri. Yes. Lisa Ray, nice to meet very you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Beautiful house. So really excited oh about God. yeah, getting it on the market and getting it sold. The house is in a great location. It's really desirable in Anthem. It's a beautiful ranch property with a gourmet kitchen. I know that once I list it, I'm going to sell it quickly. I'm going to take a quick look through the house by myself, through the eyes of a buyer. Is that okay? Great. Make yourself at home. Thank you so much. I'll be right back. I'm really glad that I got there when I did. I had another guy who was going to come by from uh, Steps. Mm -hmm. I think it was Kenny. It was hilarious when the seller was calling Kevin Kenny. Dimitri, let me ask you a question. Do you feel confident that I can get your house sold? I mean, I'm confident. I just I would like to get a second opinion if, uh, if possible. You don't want to waste any more time, do you? Uh, not really. That's when I knew I had him. I want to get as much money as I can. And that's what we specialize in, helping sellers like yourself get the most money. You know, for your move to Minnesota. And also get you those nice snowshoes, right? Yeah. <laughs> so all we need to do now is just put me to work, sign the contract, and we'll get started. So I got an appointment today to meet with a guy named Dimitri on an expired listing. When I got there, Lisa's walking out the front door waving a contract in my face. Kiss my contract, Kenny! <laughs> you know what they say, early bird gets the worm, or in this case, the contract. What Kevin doesn't know is I'm dying to recruit Lisa Ray. I'm gonna get her at our company. When I saw that she squealed out with the number one sign, I said, game on.
Are you a seller or a for sale by owner of a unique home in the Denver or Boulder area and would like to be featured on Buying Boulder? Visit us at buyingboldertv.com. Sean and I are heading up to a $7.9 million listing today for a broker open house. This house is incredible. We have some of the top agents in Boulder all here checking out this house and looking at this great opportunity. Can I say, that, I mean, this place is fabulous, right? The, the inlaid work is really nice. The detail is great. The architecture. It's a five bedroom, five full bath home. It's almost 9,000 square feet. Certainly ample space in terms of what people are gonna be looking for. You've got a 600 plus bottle wine cellar. It's got a media room, waterfalls flowing through the atrium. Close in, it's got seven acres. Steps Real Estate is a company that I value highly and I brought their brokers up here to enjoy and understand what we've got here. And I am in huge hopes that they will bring a buyer our way. If the right buyer comes along here, they're gonna walk in here and just say, I've gotta have this. We're on a broker's open at one of the most expensive single family homes in Boulder. Of course I'm inviting Lisa Ray. She's a top producer. So dude, did you invite Lisa or what? Yeah, man, I'm a recruiter. Dude, she's a little bit of a drama queen, man. I don't think she's right for it. She's a producer. You're just afraid she's gonna outsell you that. Last year, Lisa outsold me by just a few units and I don't need my partner helping the competition. I just want to thank everyone for coming out here today. Thanks, Barb. This is a lovely house. Let's work together to get this home sold. Eight million bucks. Let's go make some money. Yeah. Cheers! Boulder Real Estate! So Denver right now is one of the hottest markets in the country. In fact, there's reports that state that it's grown faster than any other city in the United States. Today I'm going to meet with Patrick Klaus at Little Man Ice Cream in Low High. I want a downtown high-end visible location that agents will want to work out of. I show up and I see Patrick eating an ice cream cone like a four-year-old. Patrick. Hey, bro. How are you? Good, man. It's good to see you. Ready to sell that franchise? I am. We're going to go look at some office space in downtown Denver. We're going to be in the clock tower. We're going to see an old storefront that I think is really suitable for the vibe that you're looking for. Hey, they got to make us look good. Oh, you're going to rock this thing. All right, let's do it. I made Patrick ride in the bus with me. He hated it. Well, maybe it's the fumes I'm complaining about, Sean. <laughs> Let me just be straight with you. You got fumes. He shows up in his old Volkswagen bus, summoning his inner hippie, which was interesting. I will give him credit. It does attract attention. People love the van. People love the van in Denver more than they love it in Boulder. We got a lot of people giving us the hang loose, and so it was a fun ride, let's say. Patrick sells more homes by units than anybody else in our office. first one had an awesome location. Downtown, visible, loved it. I love this location. My biggest concern is where are all of our agents gonna park? Downtown Denver has no parking. Are they gonna ride their bikes to work? Yeah, well, it's a thing. Take the client on the basket. There's a lot of money flowing around here. You just have to tap into it. I'm considering being a franchisee myself and it might be a good fit for me and my team. The second location is an iconic Denver location called the Clock Tower. You tell people your office is in the clock tower, they're going to want to come and see you. The views are incredible, great location, the office just too small. So we look at a couple of candidates. I don't know that we have the winner yet. The storefront really, I think, is the pick of the litter so far. Years ago, 16th Street Mall is not a place you'd want to go. Today, there's bars, there's some of the best restaurants, and for some people, they can even pick up their weed. I'm in franchise mode. I just got finished looking at office spaces with Patrick. Now I'm gonna go meet another top producing agent in Denver named PJ. PJ wants to open up the first Steps franchise in Denver. Sean, I've known him for a long time and he always has some fantastic ideas. I think that it could really benefit my company and my business as a whole. And that's really what I'm looking for. I met PJ at Union Station and of course we jumped in the van. Everybody loves the van. So I had to roll down my window because there's a lot of carbon monoxide apparently in the car. So a uh, good thing you told me to roll down the window. The Denver market is one of the top five marketplaces in the country. 200,000 people are moving into the metro area every year. DJ took me out to Lowry where there's a brand new development going on. It's the last large piece of undeveloped land in all of Denver. The development's still under construction. In fact, they're selling like hotcakes. And these are not low-end properties. These are luxury homes.
Wow, this is a great space. Isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. this is one of the premier homes at Boulevard One, built by Berkeley Homes. It has the gourmet kitchen, 17 foot high ceilings, skip trowel finishes on the walls. Center Island is a cemented countertop. Here's the living area space with that beautiful linear fireplace. These homes sell for right around a million dollars. They're for the person who works downtown, but still wants to feel like they're part of a community. Here is the master suite. Oh yeah. With a five piece bath. Yeah, this is great. I don't think the bed's included, Sean. I'm gonna just sleep here for a bit. I wanted to bring Sean down here today to show him how much more bang for your buck you get down here in uh, Denver versus Boulder. That's my kind of tub. Do you fit? Let's see, you can't judge the size of a bathtub until you get in it. Don't turn the water off. I thought it would be a good idea to show Sean the two-story model that's just next door. Everything is top-notch in here. The most current decor available. I had to say goodbye to PJ. She had an appointment with a buyer, and I have to get back to selling some franchises. Today I'm showing some luxury lofts to a out-of-town buyer from California. She wants a downtown loft, walking distance to Pearl Street, all the bars and the restaurants with great views. I've got two picked out, they're awesome. So we're gonna be meeting Barb Silverman at Live Sotheby's. She's gonna show us the first luxury loft. Are you familiar with the building at all? No, I'm not. This is a premier condominium that's got a LEED certification. So it's got a lot of environmental impact that is something very important to the Boulder lifestyle. I want you to be familiar with this amazing view of the Flatirons. You're a block away from Pearl Street, all the bars, all the, the fancy restaurants, you'll love it. So what do you think about the location? Great location, I see there's a lot of action. This has a great pulse. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So I see this is a very sexy piece right here. Yeah, some absolutely. Dinner hosting, um, very trendy, very urban. Chandelier doesn't come with the property. Sorry, Ashley. Check out this master bedroom. It is beautiful. She's coming from a beautiful area in California and coming to another beautiful area. I didn't realize Ashley was such a great piano player. Well, here's the information on Perfect. it. Perfect. And Thank let's go so check much. out the other unit and let's see which one really fits your needs. I'm wearing my red shoes today. Those are my closing shoes. We are meeting John S. Misson at the second loft. We'll see what happens. I've been selling real estate in this area for a really long time. If you're looking for the best of the best, this is really it. So here we have the master suite. This is really nice. I like this. Do you guys mind if I try out the steam shower? Actually seems like the second loft even more than the first. The views from this unit are incredible. You said you wanted it all, right? Yes, I do. This is Top it all. Notch. This yes, is it this all. Is great. Yeah, <laughs> is we left the second loft. She said, let's write it up. Buying Boulder is looking for unique businesses that want to be featured on our show. If you have a unique business in the Denver and Boulder area that features the Colorado lifestyle, then reach out to us at buyingbouldertv.com. I've been meeting with Lisa Ray on Pearl Street. I'm gonna present her with a great opportunity, and today, I'm gonna to close her. It's most impressive what Steps has done, you know, with Sean at the helm. He's brought over a lot of talented people. You know I think you'd be a great fit for our company. What's it gonna to take to have you come over? Well, I'm doing really well where I am right now. I'm just not ready to jump ship at the moment. I'll tell you what, I'll give up my office. I'll give you Kevin's office if I have to. <laughs> If he makes me a deal that I can't refuse, maybe, but at the moment, no. Well, I mean, that's hilarious, right? I do want to work together at some point. What are you up to there, buddy? Hi, Kevin. One day, Kevin's going to thank me. He's going to come up to me and be like, Sean, thank you for Lisa Ray. 
Kevin is so sensitive sometimes. Half the time I'm just joking with him. When John said that I could take a pic of any of the offices, I decided to go and take a look. I'm walking into the office today with the signed Pearl Street contract. I'm ecstatic. I'm Kevin. I'm a powerful agent. I'm determined. Relentless. Does this woman have no boundaries? What? Lisa's on my trampoline. Nobody messes with the trampoline. I told her, don't touch Kevin's trampoline, man. I'll talk to her, I promise. I already told her, that's the only sacred place in the office. Inventory's so low here in Boulder that Stephanie and Shondell have buyers they can't find a home. So I sent them out door knocking. I can see how this would be really discouraging until you make a sale. Give them a call to check in and give them a little motivation. Hey, Shondell, how's it going? Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's going. I mean, could be better. People don't want us knocking on their door on a Sunday. There's somebody right now saying, I want to sell my home. And they sound like somebody peed in their Wheaties. All right, uh, like, keep... how many more do we do? 25 each. I've knocked on so many doors, I got a callus on my knocking finger. 25 each. Each. Yeah, you can do it. Hi, my name is Sean Moldry. I'm here to buy your house. I'm from Steps Real Estate. You knock on enough doors, you're going to find somebody who needs your help. I'm Stephanie. I'm Stephanie. with Steps Real Estate. I'm this Scott. is Sean Dell. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Scott. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. We, um, we have some clients that are looking to buy in this neighborhood, and we're going door to door and seeing if there's you know, anyone that's looking to sell their home or if they know any neighbors that are wanting to sell their home. And Door knocking is a real pain in the butt. I didn't think it'd work out, but it paid off in the end. Market's good. It might be time to move on. I'm really glad I took Kevin's class. We're going to get him a great deal on their house. Kevin and I are in the bus heading up to this gorgeous listing in the foothills above Boulder. It's a for sale by owner, and in fact, they just recently put it on the market. Pine Brook Hills, beautiful house. We're looking forward to coming up and seeing if we can get the home sold. Love this house. Check out these details, huh? Yeah, man. We met Michelle and her husband. Michelle's from Puerto Rico, and her husband is from Sweden. And here's the view. So we bought the house as an investment, and the market is doing great right now, and we think that it's time to catch in on it. This house was custom built by an extremely wealthy man. It was kind of his like dream custom home. This is a mountain home. It's a luxury home, so definitely I'd like to have someone with experience selling these types of houses. So my favorite part of that house was that swimming pool. I could think of nothing more than having a party, hanging out around that pool, overlooking Boulder Valley. This house is a beautiful contemporary home. The way the house uh, opens into the natural environment around it, the doors actually fold in two huge rooms. So, it, I mean, basically you're living in the outside of the house. We're looking at acreage, a mountain house, beautiful views, a gourmet kitchen, glamorous master suite. This house even has a secret room. It's pretty sweet. James Bond. Nice. So when Sean and Kevin came over, they definitely struck us as very knowledgeable. They definitely seem to have a lot of experience in the real estate business. We'd love for them to help us. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get this house sold. Cheers. Absolutely. We sat there on their deck, sipping wine, talking about real estate. They don't all go that way, but when they do, that is a fun appointment. Life is great at Steps Real Estate. Kevin got two more listings. We're getting agents trained, getting them productive, getting them out there selling. Awesome broker open. The Arapaho Chief Niwa has said that there's a curse, that when you lay your eyes upon the mountains, that you will leave, but your heart will always yearn to return. And when you choose to return, please call Lisa Ray. I'm gonna franchise in Boulder, Denver. We're gonna go throughout Colorado, the nation. Steps numbers are up. Our agent counts going up, our sales are up. Watch out, we're coming through.